today we've got a new camera. This is the Sony RX100 Mark V. A. This is an upgrade to the one I'm shooting this video on now, which is the Sony D DSC WX500. And it's still in the Cybershot range by Sony. Essentially, I don't know much about this camera other than the fact that it has a large f-stop, a low f-stop, meaning I can blur out the background on portrait shots. It also has a tiltable screen that goes both ways, so if I'm shooting things high up above me, I can get this, the shot in and everything like that. So let's just take a look at it. They've already sort of cut the seal in the store um, because they wanted to like put the screen protector on and, and show me that it's all there and everything like that. So here's what we get. So there's the usual pack of annoying papers that nobody reads. Charging thing, more charging, the hand strap, micro USB wire, and then this is the camera in here. This is it. Now, at first glance, it looks fairly similar to the one I already use. The difference is, the main differences are that you've got this control dial, which can adjust the, um, the aperture, the ISO, the zoom, and everything like that, depending on what setting you're using. You've also got a viewfinder here. So this is a little viewfinder that you have. You do have to pull out the second section of it, but other than that, it's pretty, pretty good. You've also got a screen here which not only flips out this way but it also tilts down that way so that if you're shooting something like that you can look down whereas also you can also look like that and you can also have it as a selfie screen for vlogging which is what most of us use it's what I'm going to be using it for and it's pretty much the whole point of having a flip screen so the first sort of feel of this it feels really nice it feels like there's a magnetic latch that sort of holds the screen on here and then you've obviously got the flash as well which you can now bounce on the previous ones you weren't able to bounce the flash but you can now bounce the flash up if you need to and then there's the usual control dials that are familiar to me from the other Sony Cybershot that I've been using so that's all I can say about this at the moment the battery is actually needing a charge so the next shot you see will be this on and me playing around with it That's pretty good, look. We're gonna do the first vlogging test of this camera. So right now, this is just me talking in a quiet room. I don't know quite how to use it yet. This is the camera in natural light. Very nice and bright here. Nice, let's see what it does with the size. Oh, it's So I was using this for the opening sequence. This is what I filmed the uh, the unboxing with. This is the WX D DSC WX500, and this is what I've been vlogging on for almost a year. But I've now switched it up for this camera, which is the one you can see here, and it's pretty good. You know, it seems to blur the background out a bit better. So yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get some really good shots on this new camera as well. It can do slow motion and all sorts of other stuff. Okay, so this footage hasn't been edited in terms of audio, colour, exposure, anything like that. This is just a raw footage on the automatic mode of the camera.
picture looking up the branch like that. What is, let me wait for it to focus, what is the sound quality like? I'm not going to raise my voice at all, I'm just literally talking how I would, like, how I would talk to you. And there's also like a bit of noise in the background over there, there's some bits. This is the new vlogging camera. Oh, there's a little bit of dust. So yeah, what is the actual sound quality like? <laughs> 